pleased to introduce a veteran in the entertainment journalism industry, Francine Broca, who is also a very good friend of mine. Welcome, Francine. Thank you. How fun is this? I know it's this. We this love our great. audience. Yay. Woo! <laughs> thank you. Francine, thank you so much for being here. It My is pleasure. just such a pleasure. You live in L.A., but you have a special connection to Laguna Woods, right? My mother lives down here, my uncle lives here, and we have a lot of good friends down here. That's wonderful. So very connected with the community. Very much so. So you have a new book out. Tell me about your it's book. It's not quite so new, but it's still um, garnering a lot of interest. It's about my profession, entertainment journalism. Mm -hmm. And it has a whole bunch of stories by not only myself, but a lot of my colleagues. Okay. And uh, it just actually is a, is a Enlightens, enlightens readers as to what it is we actually do. We don't just stand on the red carpet and asking who do you wear, who are you wearing? Right, who are we you wearing? We no. So I have actually read this book from cover to cover I hope so. many, many <laughs> times and it is super fascinating. It's so fascinating and I, uh, some of the people, tell me who was the most interesting person that you interviewed with? I always think of James Garner okay. because he let everything go. He would not hold back even when the publicist came in and said the interview's over, he said, no, I'm not done with my stories. I'm going to continue talking. He was, he had such a wealth of information. He's been in, he was in the industry for so long. And uh, we got, I got him, we got him talking about um, The Great Escape. Okay. And he had a lot of inside information about that and a lot of not so nice things to say about uh, Steve McQueen. Oh, okay. <laughs> For another time. Yes. And and a few of the other people. He was not a not a he, he didn't hold anything back. He would tell you what he thought. Exactly what which is so rare. It you is. Know, it, it really is. is rare in, in our world of publicists and journalists. So um, uh, now I've noticed as you came in that you have this amazing ring. It it spins around and you told me there's some meaning behind it. Well, actually, it's from my family, but I usually wear this for interviews because it is an icebreaker. Yeah, and you, can't, they... like, you can't stop doing it. Like, really, you can't <laughs> that's, stop. That's what Kevin Spacey did. I was interviewing, I was sitting next to Kevin Spacey in the round table, and he was holding my hand, going like, a spinning the whole thing, and while he was doing, the interviews and part of me wanted to say can I have my hand back so I can take some notes but I, I didn't dare because it was so much oh, fun to have I would never want hand. to I would be I would be holding that so please hold my hand longer yes oh he's adorable he's, he's oh, fun. That's so much fun well what an amazing career that you have had thank you is there anything that stands out to you about ways that maybe things have gotten better or worse for journalists it's gotten worse the really? paparazzi, for one thing, I have had to fight my way through a crowd just to get to an interview with Jennifer Aniston. Mm. Uh, it's it's the 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 internet and the mm. blogging and the tweets. There's no fa fact checking at mm. all. I mean, that's that ruined it for us who are professional that mm -hmm. we consider professional. Those bloggers, and no offense, because I know you do you I'm do have some blogging, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there, there's the, you can just write anything. You don't have uh, I, I'm, I come from the print side uh -huh. a long time ago. You're a pro. We're you're a, pro you're a professional. We're dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had an editor. I've had editors that look through your stuff, change it, sometimes for the worst. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> and, and you uh, have, but you have that barrier to entry. Yeah, you do. And, mm -hmm. and you have somebody fact-checking. Even mm -hmm. uh, recently I misquoted. I didn't misquote somebody, but I did put the wrong name in. And the editor wrote me back and said, are you sure this person said that? I said, oh. Thank you very much. That's it was good. This you, you need that. We but all you don't need have our own that editors. Bloggers. They mm -hmm. just everything that goes on the internet is supposedly fact. Mm -hmm. well, well, which is very difficult when we're trying to find. You know, we all go to inform to the internet for information, right? Yes. And everything we read on the internet, we think is true. At least I do. I yes. Mean, well, you. I mean, it's there. It's got to be true, right? Okay. So, have, speaking of um, Jennifer Aniston, yes. Have you? What was she like to interview? She was. She was very nice. Was she? She was. She was oh, nice. Good. That's good. I was not pleased with her first husband. <laughs> with uh, Brad Pitt? Yes. Oh, I know. There's some sad news today. No. Yeah, well, he, he didn't seem that nice when, well, I mean, he was nice, but he wasn't that you open. You don't hold back either, <laughs> Francine. I like this. This is the jury, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he, he, there were some people that you just gravitate mm -hmm. to. Yeah. And some people that. There, Shirley MacLaine was another one that I remembered I you really gravitated her. towards. And what did you her. love about her? Was it her spirit? Was it her warmth? She's so open, mm -hmm. and uh, we we both have 
a love affair of Dean Martin uh. in common. <laughs> So we talked a lot about her relationship mm -hmm. with uh, the Rat Pack. Oh, okay. And uh, it was fun. I really enjoy talking to the old timers about the old Hollywood mm -hmm. days because that it's so different than it is today. It's the real golden Hollywood days. Very. Well, thank you so much, Francine, for being You're with welcome. us. Um, for our viewers, this is Beyond the Red Carpet. If you have not read this book, you should read this book. It is fascinating, and it's very it's a great read about the world of journalism then and now as well. So thank you so much, Francine, you. and we will be right back.